Hey guys, this is Ray with DRD. Welcome back. Um, standing outside my house looking at my 2020 truck here. And today's video, the topic of conversation is frequent regens or uh, excessively frequent regens for that matter. I know a lot of guys, I, you know, look on social media, uh, hear from customers and, you know, a lot of guys have pretty new trucks with relatively low miles and they're tempted to go ahead and delete the emissions simply because the truck is having excessive regeneration cycles. Um, you know, I'll just say this, you know, I totally understand the desire to remove the emissions and delete uh, your diesel truck, but you know, it's number one, it's illegal. Number two is enforcement uh, is uh, increasing more and more as time goes by. And, uh, you know, uh, it's eventually going to come to a point to where people will no longer be able to register deleted trucks. You'll have to pass emissions test, emissions readiness monitor test. Uh, a lot of dealers now won't even take a deleted truck in as a trade. So, you're, you know, if you delete one, you're really hurting uh, resale value. But, uh, you know, I totally understand why guys still want to do it. But you really need to consider taking care of the root problem that may be causing the excess of regeneration cycles instead of just stripping everything off. And what can cause it? Well, this 2020 truck of mine actually started having some excessive regeneration cycles. Now it is tuned. I've tuned it. Uh, you've seen the videos uh, on the max effort tune. It's got about 120 more horsepower than stock. All the emissions are still intact. But I did notice I started having some more regeneration cycles. Actually, pretty excessive. Uh, this truck uh, started wanting to regen uh, between every 50 and 100 miles. You literally uh, could pull out the driveway and uh, it would start to regen. And, and uh, you could, uh, particularly these, uh, with these 19 and newer trucks, um, you can actually monitor, you know, the DPF uh filter status uh show it to you i actually got it pulled up on my truck uh if you got one of these newer trucks you can read the diesel particulate filter in your uh evic display as you can see right now it's uh empty but i mean i literally could at one point in time i could pull out the driveway and uh you could uh, just go a few miles down the road and you would see it already start to show it filling up about a quarter full then time I went to town and back a couple of times it would be near and half full again and then it would trigger an automatic generation cycle and you know I knew this truck didn't have any issues when I brought it home I bought it used I knew the DPF was healthy on it so I knew it wasn't truly clogging up so I got to looking back at what I have done to the truck since I bought it and of course you know I've installed this uh red intake uh elbow and i've got a smb uh cold air intake on it and it's already out on social media a lot of guys that change intakes uh start having excessive regeneration problems and the problem lies in how the uh, mass airflow sensor quite oftentimes is calibrated sensor that goes down here um, sometimes they're just dirty. Sometimes it can just be a simple, it's not necessarily a, a, an aftermarket intake problem as a whole. It could be an air filter problem. I know there, uh, Rams have had some TSBs on aftermarket air filters causing the issue. Um, it could be a map sensor problem. The map sensor on this particular intake elbow goes on this side, bolts down there. Between map sensor input math sensor input those two things work together and regulate the air fuel ratio okay at any particular uh engine load any particular rpm so if you change something on your truck for example your air intake your air and fil your air filter and it skews how the air is supposed to flow around particularly the math sensor um, you can cause the truck to run uh too rich and if it runs too rich, then it will fill the DPF up quicker, obviously, because it's running a little dirty. Um, also, uh, sensor inputs from the MAF and the MAP 
also has an inferred input on how the ECM interprets soot loading. So if the ECM interprets soot load higher than what it actually is, it's going to trigger uh, unnecessary regeneration cycles. Uh, of course, if it's, you know, filling up faster, that triggers unnecessary regeneration cycles. The bottom line is, with well, this truck, I was getting, you know, excessive regens every 50, 100 miles. And I started thinking about, it's like, well, let me change some things in the tuning. So I rescaled some maps in the tuning to where I thought maybe it would put the truck at a better air fuel ratio. And voila, when I did that, the excessive generation problem went away i went from uh regeneration cycles like i said every 1500 miles now i'm going about a thousand miles and no regeneration cycle on um, dpf the perceived soot load is staying normal and i'm not getting it, these excessive regens and you know regeneration cycles are normal they are a required part of keeping the exhaust system happy on these trucks and meeting, you know, tailpipe requirements. But you don't want your, your regeneration cycles to truly be happening, happening excessively because uh, that raises uh, engine exhaust temperature really high frequently, uh, which can ultimately shorten the life of an otherwise good exhaust system. It also can put uh, fuel in your, uh, you know, uh, the regeneration cycles, uh, inject fuel, uh, a lot more post injection that can get past uh, piston rings and get into the crankcase and dilute your engine oil. So you don't want excessive regenerations for that matter as well. So guys, if you're having excessive regeneration issues, check on some things first before you delete your truck, okay? Deleting might not be what the true answer is. Uh, you know, you might be just doing yourself and obviously the environment an injustice by going ahead and stripping parts off. Check your map sensor. Check your mass airflow sensor. Make sure they're clean. Make sure that you haven't put an aftermarket intake on the thing that would uh, skew how these sensors read and how the uh, PCM perceive things. Um, check that first. And if you have an aftermarket intake like this SMB, and your truck is not tuned, then perhaps, you know, tuning it, which we can help you do, can help this truck uh, go a lot further before it regens, and you obviously have more power and better performance to go with that as well. So, as always, guys, thank you for following along. God bless each and every one of you, and we will see you again soon.